So by the title of this video, you can tell that we are going to be doing a video tutorial on how to create XTE filter files or RXTE filter files. RXTE is the Rossi X-Ray Timing Explorer. It is an older X-Ray mission um, uh, that provided lots of valuable and good timing data uh, to the scientific community. And this video is going to be all about how to create filter files uh, f for RXTE. This is one of the first steps you're going to need to do in um, doing any sort of data analysis with RXTE uh, data products. Um, with RxDE being a bit of an older mission, a lot of the steps that you're going to need to do in um, data analysis for RxTE are going to be a lot more manual, a lot more hands-on, and therefore a lot of people are a, a little bit more intimidated compared to uh, when they do work with something like Chandra, XMM Newton, uh, Nicer, New Star, where there's uh, pipeline processes that you can go through and just have it kind of do everything for you. RxTE is a lot different and so uh, for this one in terms of generating filter files this is one of the easier steps um, however it can be a little bit uh, overwhelming for some people who have never done anything uh, manually before so a lot of this stuff has to be done um, strictly manually before we get started into all this if you have any questions at all during the process of this video leave a question uh, down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I possibly can. Also, uh, if you have any questions, you can reference the RXTE cookbook or the ABCs of RXTE. Both of those are linked in the description down below. And if at any point during this video you find that this video was helpful, uh, it would be very much appreciated if you could um, interact with the video in some way so that this uh, video and uh, other videos by myself um, can be bumped in the YouTube search algorithm as well as the Google search algorithm so more people looking for help with these type of tasks can get that help. With that being said, let's get started. One of the first things you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take care of a few prerequisites. The first prerequisite is you're going to need HeSoft and the XTE uh, libraries in, uh, or packages installed. And if you need to uh, update RXTE or you need to reconfigure RXTE um, or HeSoft, um, you can find a video tutorial on how to install uh, HeSoft from source code on a Ubuntu machine on this channel, so look for that video if you need to see that. The second thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a RXTE data file. You can find that by going to the HeSARC archive here, um, and we'll go to browse, and you can type in whatever you need, and you can download any of the um, RXTE data files that you're going to need. Once you download them, you're, they're going to come in at folders like this. You want to keep them in their respective principal folders where it's going to be P followed by a five digit number. And then inside, you're going to find a couple of uh, folders here. The main ones that you're going to want is you're going to want a double zero folder, double zero A, and double zero Z. The last thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a app ID list. You're going to need this app ID list. What we're going to do is we're just going to take it and we're going to copy it. And then we're going to just paste it into a text file. So we'll just go get, uh, get it. And then we'll just paste it here. Now, I already have this one done, so I'm not going to save this, but you're going to need a text file with this app ID list here in order to do any of this data analysis. Right now, the next step is very simple. We're just going to go and locate um, one of our files here. And you can see I actually have a whole bunch of files here. Now, it's important, again, to make sure you have the double O, the double O A, and then the double O Z folder. And you can see that uh, I've got a whole bunch of them in here, all in this grouping for P450. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to be creating an XTE filter file, and so what we're going to do is um, we're going to go to our doubles, our, our double zero folder here.
Now the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need our app ID list in this folder. So we're going to just copy it over from a different um, we can either copy it over from a different um, from wherever we have it saved or we can just link to it when we're doing our XTE filter file. So for the purposes of this video we're going to be copying it over from a different file. And we're going to select it, just place it there. Okay, now we're going to open up our double knot or a double zero file in a terminal and initialize Heasoft. Whoop. Typed a little too fast there. <laughs> Alright, then the next thing that we're gonna type in is we're gonna type in XTE filt. This is what is go this is a command that is going to help us create our XTE filter file. The first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to type in our observation ID as it is stated in the folder. So this is gonna be four hundred fifty dash 04 dash 02 dash 00 we're going to hit enter then the next thing we're going to need is we're going to need our path to our fits database now for this we're going to need the path to our fmi file which we can just conveniently drag and drop and you also don't need to worry about the single quotation marks with xte filt um, unlike other uh, commands that or tools that you might be used to using the single quotation marks don't matter so we're going to hit enter then it's going to ask for the file containing the app ID list you can uh, put in the path to this one or just link to an old one unless you're changing the app ID list it doesn't really matter we're using the same one here so we're going to hit enter timestamp of 16.0 hit enter and you're going to see everything runs it ran just like that and it's going to say that it's finished now we're just going to check to make sure that everything worked out so we're going to go type in fv ampersand which is our fits viewer and we're going to open this up and we're going to be looking for an xfl file you can see that this is our xfl file right down here and it is 506 kilobytes so let's open that up now you can see we have a whole bunch of rows and a whole bunch of columns. We're just going to open up all. You can see it uh, opens up as a XTE MKF, and you're going to see a whole wide variety of columns and rows and stuff. And that is going to be your XTE filter file. You've pretty much done it. So if this video helped you out in any way, again, I would very much appreciate any... Um, interaction on the video so that it can be uh, higher ranked in the search engines for people looking for help with XTE filter files. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. And uh, if you are looking for more help, and this is, is the if you're looking for more help on anything Heasoft related, be sure to explore around my channel as I have a handful of videos out um, that could be helpful. Thank you for watching.